Item Number SCP-5045 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Webcrawler XYY76 has been created to search for any mention of select trigger phrases, example, Goat VR, Goat Game, or Farmer Game, as well as any accounts with the name Farmer and flag them for review. The flagged phrase will be manually reviewed for SCP-5045 influence and deleted when necessary. A single copy of SCP-5045 is kept within Terminal 577B within Site-301. Description SCP-5045 is a virtual reality game that is compatible with most virtual reality headsets titled GOAT VR. Before discovery, SCP-5045 could be downloaded at several websites dedicated to obscure games, as well as its own website. SCP-5045 begins with the title screen with GOAT VR displayed in large neon green and purple text. Below the title is a button titled Play, which, when pressed, puts the player into a cartoonish 3D environment vaguely resembling that of a neon blue farmhouse surrounded by a black void. The ground is covered in a neon green grass texture and bounded by a blue-colored picket fence which surrounds the farmhouse. Travel beyond the fence is impossible, due to an invisible barrier blocking access. Contained within a narrow space enclosed by the fence are several animate entities resembling goats, drawn in a similar style to the surroundings. These goats exhibit simple and repetitive behavior, in which they will walk unimpeded until reaching a barrier, in which case they will turn around and walk in a different direction. These goats are drawn in two dimensions, appearing as a flat shape. Despite their simple stylization, however, their movements appear smooth and uniquely generated, with no use of repeating frames or walk cycles. No content related to the GOATS has been found in the game's files. Footnote 567191-1 View the SCP-5045 files log for more details. Within the farmhouse is a crudely drawn humanoid entity, with slightly more visual detail than the GOATS, hereafter designated SCP-5045-1. SCP-5045-1 refers to itself as Farmer and displays a degree of sapience, often attempting communication with the player and responding to verbal questioning. Despite the absence of a microphone, SCP-5045-1 is capable of detecting and understanding the player's speech, as well as, to a limited degree, loud sounds nearby. SCP-5045-1 employs various tactics to increase playtime during a given play session. Such tactics include the generation of visual effects in the corner of the player's field of view, bleeding sounds emanating from beneath various surfaces, and requests to join him in an activity such as watching the goats together. When questioned about these tactics, SCP-5045-1 unilaterally denies their existence. After a variable amount of time, SCP-5045-1 will vocalize to the player, thanks for playing GOAT VR, before shutting the headset off, which continues to draw power until disconnected. Upon this happening, the player falls into an indefinite vegetative state. SCP-5045 Short-Term Exploration Subject D-1711 Researcher Researcher Ivan Sherv Experiment D-1711 is instructed to play SCP-5045 and explore its in-game environment. SCP-5045 is set to run for 10 minutes before being shut off to ensure the participant's safety. Begin Log all right, let's begin. Wait, we're starting now? Testing begins now, yes. <sighs> Okie dokie. D-1711 puts on the VR headset and the title screen of SCP-5045 is shown. Goat VR? Christ, that's a gaudy title screen. Do I really have to do this? Yes. <sighs> Things could be a lot worse, I guess. D-1711 moves his hand to the play button and presses it. The screen fades into black and out into SCP-5045 central location. Huh, so this is where you guys wanted me to explore? Kinda small from the looks of things. Colorful too. Really colorful. D-1711 groans. Ugh, guys, my head's killing me already and I just started. This will only take ten minutes. For the record, could you describe what you are seeing? Alright, um, everything's all black and outlined in these bright neon colors. Not many colors, actually. Uh, the ones I can list so far are blue, green, and some specks of white in the distance. Looks like a cartoon. 
In front of me there's this fence and a barn, both outlined in bright blue. Below me is some patchy bright green grass, and above me is… darkness. D1711 looks over towards the fence area of SCP-5045. I think I'm gonna get closer to those little white fellas over by the fence. I can see them moving. D1711 starts heading towards the blue fence, and stops as he is close enough to the fence to make out a collection of 14 crudely drawn cartoon goats maneuvering around the area. Many of the goats are bleeding. Further back, more goats can be seen, although it is hard to make out how many there are. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this a joke? No. Again, for the record, please describe in detail what you are seeing. What I'm seeing looks like, a, I don't know, a, a joke. All these goats look like bad cartoons, wandering around and bumping into each other. I swear there's gotta be more of those little guys back there than I can see clearly. Oh, that one over there looks scared. D1711 looks to a goat from behind the 14 goats displayed. It is difficult to make out given the resolution, but a two-dimensional goat is seen with a concerned expression on its face. Its overlarge eyes dart around frantically. Hmm, poor guy. Wonder what's got him so stressed out. D1711 looks back at the 14 goats being displayed. Honestly, this is impressive. Considering the art quality, I expected some choppy animations, but these guys are really fluid. Wish I could stay and watch, but I should probably get going to the farmhouse. D1711 turns to his right and sees SCP-5045-1 in front of them. D1711 yelps, startled. Howdy! The name's Farmer! Ugh, fuck! That scared the hell out of me! Didn't mean to frighten you. I just noticed you were admiring my prize goat collection. Wait, you can actually hear me? Clear as a bell. Is this game multiplayer or something? Say that again? Is this game multiplayer? Huh? <sighs> D1711 sighs. Can I just go to your farmhouse? But I hadn't even got a chance to talk about these incredible things. SCP-5045-1 motions towards the goats in the fenced area of SCP-5045. They're quite the entertainers, aren't they? Look at them go! <laughs> D1711 turns to look at the fence and chuckles. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to tell me that. God, these things are hilarious. SCP-5045-1 nods, smiling. Say, are there any other farm animals here that you can show me? Not a chance. Goats are all I need. They're great listeners. SCP-5045-1 begins pointing emotively at the goats displayed in the fence area. These ones especially. I'll show you. SCP-5045-1 puts his hand up to his mouth and generates a sharp whistling sound. As this happens, all 14 goats collectively freeze in place and look directly at SCP-5045-1. Thank you. Now please, greet our new guest. Each goat turns their head towards D1711 and bleats. Isn't that kind of them? Yeah, that's... cool. Listen, my head's aching. Can I just... Wait a minute. I hear something. D1711 turns towards the fence area. A goat is dragging their head across the floor with an irritated expression. Um... Are they supposed to be doing that? Hey! SCP-5045-1 turns towards the goat, visibly angered. Am I going to have to make you stop doing that? Do you have any idea how ridiculous you look? Second time this week. How hard is it to give people a good time, friend? Friend? The timer for SCP-5045 concludes and the game is shut off. D-1711 takes off his VR headset. Ugh, oh, thank god. Kinda relieved to take this thing off. My head was burning up and it was starting to smell really bad in there. Smell? How would you describe this smell? I don't know. Cigarettes? Wood smoke? Couldn't really put my finger on it. Jesus, I feel itchy. End log. SCP-5045 Long-Term Exploration Subject, D-6770. Researcher, Researcher Ivan Sheriff. 
Experiment. D6770 is instructed to begin gameplay and continue until loss of functionality. Begin log. Imba, you aren't allowed to take the headset off at any moment. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You don't need to tell me twice. D6770 presses the play button. The screen fades into black and out into SCP-5045 central location. Alright, here we are. D6770 shakes his head, briefly wincing. Was this game even made for VR? Looks like a laser tech arena spread to a nearby farm. Please try to focus into the farmhouse. The discomforting visuals are a known factor. There's a dude in there. He isn't moving. Is he? SCP-5045-1 begins to step out from the farm's entrance. Jesus Christ. Hello! Farmer here! I very, very much do love new visitors. What brings you here? I... need to get in that farmhouse. You need to, do you? Well, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but there's so much to do around here. Have you seen my goat collection? Your goat collection? That's what those things are? Come here, you love to see them. SCP-5045-1 approaches D6770 with an outstretched hand. Christ, don't touch me. Let me... We'd prefer it if you followed SCP-5045-1's instructions for now. Jesus, fine. I'll look at the goddamn goats. Now that's an attitude we want to see, champ. Come here, give him a look. You'll love what I've collected. Extraneous footage removed. Playtime surpasses 15 minutes. And this one here is Jumbles. She's a pretty dramatic one. Pay her no mind. Can I just go to the farmhouse already? Darn it, no! I hadn't even taken a pass offense yet. I'm not entering your creepy goat pit. Wow, that's some good sass there. Cool off. We can check out the farmhouse. You're so itching to explore. <sighs> Thank you. D6770 and SCP-5045-1 walk to the farm entrance and enter inside. This is it! The farmhouse. D6770 looks around the room in confusion. This is all there is? A painting and some hay. What the hell do you even do here? What were you expecting? I'd love to know. Well, I don't know. A lot more than this. Very well, then. If it's more you want, it's more you get. I hope you enjoy- The screen flickers and SCP-5045-1 vanishes. Where SCP-5045-1 vanished, a door can be seen that wasn't visible before. What? What the fuck was that? Where did he go? What's this door doing here? D6770 begins to back away from the door. <sighs> Something about that door, man. Uh, I don't really want to enter it. I think I'll just relax here for a bit, have some alone time, and, um, watch paint dry. The sound of thumping and scratching begins playing throughout the walls of the farmhouse. Oh shit. What's doing that? Fuck. Do I really gotta go in there? Cracks begin to form around the walls of the farmhouse. I'll take that as a yes. D6770 runs to the door as it opens without manipulation, revealing an area of grass with several random structures containing windows in the background. A purple sign is stuck out of the grass with the phrase, Enjoy, pasted on it. A yellow figure can be seen briefly in the window of a red, silo-like structure, who quickly ducks out of view in an apparent panic. Once D6770 enters, the door behind him shuts, and a giggling sound is heard from behind. Christ! This virtual reality stuff is immersive as hell, man. I felt like I was in danger. D6770 looks back at the door. Shit. I guess I'm stuck here now. No way I'm going back in there after what happened. What's up with that sign? Enjoy? I'm really hoping that farmer freak isn't around right now. He gives me the absolute willies. What do you plan on doing now? Well, what's the use of being stuck somewhere and not exploring it? I'm thinking of heading over to that weird red tower thing. I swear I saw some yellow dude up there when I was entering that door. Alright, let's go. D6770 begins walking towards the red silo structure. Extraneous footage removed. Playtime surpasses 25 minutes. Alright, I think I'm there. I can see the tower pretty close now. 
Does anyone else think the ground feels kind of scratchy right now? Could you describe the sensation in more detail? I don't know. I guess the ground just feels kind of like steel wool. God, I hate it. It's off. Oh, I, I made it. D6770 has reached the red silo. The silo is featureless except for a door on the front and a window on the top. Well, here's hoping I meet someone less freaky this time around. D6770 enters the door into a featureless room with a spiral staircase. Panicked breathing and talking can be heard from above D6770. Who the hell is up there? I guess there's only one way to find out, huh? D6770 begins climbing up the spiral staircase. You know, at least it's a little calmer in here than out there. I was starting to get a headache from all the noise and color. It's kinda chill here, in spite of that damn breathing I'm hearing right now. Ground doesn't even feel scratchy anymore. D6770 climbs to the top of the steps and reaches a circular area with a single window and a yellow humanoid entity, who will hereby be mentioned as SCP-5045-2, who is facing away from D6770. SCP-5045-2 is shaking and talking to himself unintelligibly. Oh shit, uh, you good man? SCP-5045-2 shrieks and turns to face D6770. Come any closer and I- oh. Excuse me? Shit. I'm sorry. You scared the hell out of me. I... I have to keep a clear head. I can't panic right now. Who are you? You don't look like him at all. My name is... What's yours? I don't know what my name is. I don't know how to... I, I can't tell you much, I think. Are, are you stuck here too? Stuck? Fuck. What am I saying? I haven't even- uh, fuck. My head. Do you want to leave or something? I don't know. I, I feel safer here. Don't feel seen here. I don't know why. I just do. Well, obviously you aren't safe in here, because I just walked in without you even noticing. Oh, that's a good point. Oh shit, you're right. Why was I ever feeling safe? Oh god. Um, uh, calm down. Things are going to be... okay? I... God, this is weird. It is fucking weird. I don't have a fucking clue why this is happening to me. What exactly is happening to you? I don't know! SCP-5045-2 begins to cry. I don't understand what's going on or why I'm here right now. I want to go home. What is home? My head is fucking killing me! Fuck, man. I'm sorry for disturbing you, I should- Wait, no! You, you shouldn't leave. Huh? You make me feel clearer, if that makes sense. I haven't talked to someone in a while. Fuck, I thought I'd never see anyone who could talk, other than him. You mean Farmer? Y yeah God damn it. Knew there was something off about that obnoxious creep. What the hell does he want from you? I don't know, and I don't even want to know. I don't think this is a matter of me, though. This might be a matter of us. You want to just go? Sure. Let's get out of here. Extraneous footage removed. Playtime surpasses 35 minutes. D6770 and SCP-5045-2 are walking together in a plane of grass. There are several structures in the background around them in various shapes and colors. The two are heading towards an area which seems to have no structures at all. SCP-5045-2 is leading the way. And why are we heading here, exactly? There's gotta be an end or something. Where do you think an end is going to take you anyway? I just hope it's anywhere that doesn't look like here. I hope it's home. Why do I hope it's home? Why wouldn't you hope it's home? I think he's making me... Wait, I see something over there. A squiggly thin blue line fence can be seen from afar. Several goats can be seen. Oh no. Is that another fence? Oh god, that's definitely another fence. Oh god, we're back at the start, aren't we? This can't be the start. I don't remember those goats. Or the, or the fence looking like that. Holy shit, this one is huge. D6770 and SCP-5045-2 both walk towards the fence to get a better view of the goats. 
God damn, that's massive. I hope it's doing okay. What on earth are those things sticking out of it? Jesus, is that puke? Don't think about it too hard. It hurts to think hard here. Should we just walk around the fence line? That seems to be the only other choice we have, unless you want more empty buildings to explore. Sure. I, I don't want to look at the goats, though. It's not like I'm making you. D6770 and SCP-5045-2 begin walking along the fence. Several goats of varying sizes and shapes pass them by. Why are you so uncomfortable around them anyway? They remind me of Farmer, and I'd rather not think about him. I have to focus on getting out of here. Wait, are you another player? Yeah, I, I think. Can't you just take off the headset then? Headset? You know, the VR headset thingy? It's attached to your head, right? Why does that sound so familiar? SCP-5045-2 grabs at its head and begins tugging. Where is it? I can't feel anything. I guess you're not a player then. No, I have to be. Those words you said, I swear I know them. I just can't fucking remember. SCP-5045-2 begins scratching at its head. Maybe it's inside. Hey, don't do that. Extraneous footage removed. Playtime surpasses 45 minutes. D6770 and SCP-5045-2 are continuing to walk next to the fence. Several more goats are passing them by. 523 goats have been counted in total throughout the footage. And it's really nice to have the company, you know? I'm glad you're here. Really? I thought I was being a burden. You really aren't. Don't worry about it. You have plenty of issues on your minds, I can tell. Thank you. I'm feeling much better. I thought I'd be a goner, but you... You actually make me feel hopeful. It's almost as if Farmer never did anything to me at all. Huh? SCP-5045-2 stops and freezes in place. Uh-oh. D6770 runs up to SCP-5045-2. SCP-5045-2 is visibly sweating. Are you okay? What's the matter? I think I said too much. At this point, SCP-5045-1 is visible in the background. Howdy! You again? Who else would it be, friend? Don't call me that. What the hell do you want from us? I already have what I want, silly. Now stand back. I want to show you a trick. SCP-5045-1 begins to walk closer to SCP-5045-2. D6770 runs to SCP-5045-1 and attempts to block his path. I'm not letting you lay a fucking hair on him! Wait, I say hair, I meant- SCP-5045-1 passes through D6770. <laughs> that tickle. Damn it. D6770 runs towards SCP-5045-2 and attempts to push them away from SCP-5045-1. D6770 shows signs of effort despite the fact that he is playing a virtual game. Come on, push harder! I'm trying! You're stiff as a board right now! How is this- Wait, how am I feeling this right now? I thought I was playing a game- I told you to move over! D6770 stumbles, appearing as though he was forcefully shoved. Oh, what the hell? Now sit down, young man! No, how are you doing this? What does that matter? A purple chair fades into view in front of D6770. Come on now, have a seat. I know you want to see where this goes. You wanted more, yes? When I said I wanted more, I didn't mean this. Should have been more specific. Not that it would have mattered anyway. Come on now, sit down already. Do I have to make you? You're nothing more than pixels on a screen. I could just take off this headset right now. I recall your friends back there saying that you're not allowed to take it off. I just want to make you stay interested for them. How do you know about that? SCP-5045-1 grabs D6770 and places him onto the chair. D6770 moves as if he were being dragged and placed onto a seat. D6770 is sitting on the floor in reality. How are you doing this? Blah, blah, blah. Enough questions already. Just sit back, relax, and watch this magnificent trick of mine. Shit, shit, shit. He's gonna- I think it would be best if you keep your mouth shut about what I'm doing right now. 
I'll do lots more if you don't. SCP-5045-2 begins crying. I know crying. I just said to keep that little mouth of yours shut, but I must ask you, what do you miss the most, friend? I think I miss home. What was home? How can you miss something? If you don't even know what it is, stupid. I don't know. You don't know a lot, do you? You're the goddamn reason I don't know. What the hell did you do to him, you purple fuck? Well, that's enough out of you two. SCP-5045-1 claps his hands together. The sprite of SCP-5045-2 begins to flicker and fragment, parts of the coloring turning white. The video quality degrades significantly. SCP-5045-2 begins screaming. <laughs> Might want to shut your eyes, cause this is why it gets good. The screen begins flashing several colors in rapid succession. The screaming is amplified to the point of distortion. My eyes! Christ on a bike! We heard. I warned you, no peeking. The flashing and screaming gradually fade. SCP-5045-2 is missing, and several white flickering particles can be seen flying off to the fence near D6770 and SCP-5045-1. What? What the fuck was that? What did you do to him? Nothing yet. He's in a drawing board right now. Don't really have an idea for him. He didn't like telling me much, but as for you, you're an open book. Always asking questions, being honest. It's a real shame you have to be so nasty about it. But I guess most people are. I got a great idea for you, friend. You'll be easy. SCP-5045-1 flickers and disappears. D-6770 gets up from the chair and is shaking. Fuck, man. What did you get me into? Extraneous footage removed. Playtime surpasses 55 minutes. D-6770 is repetitiously moving in circles around a green tower-like structure. What was any of that? What happened? I know this is just a dumb game, but how? How am I feeling all these sensations? D-6770 presses against the tower's wall. This wall is cold as hell. Rough, too. God, I just want to take my headset off. You aren't allowed to take the headset off at any moment. Just because I said something doesn't mean I'm going to do it. Wish I could, though. D6770 continues to circle around the tower while humming an indistinct tune. Playtime surpasses one hour. What's even the point of this mess of a game? Nothing to do but get dragged, pulled around, and wonder aimlessly. No goal. I don't even feel like I've accomplished anything during my time here. Is this one of those artsy games? D6770 sighs. I'm already missing that yellow guy. He felt... Different. Everyone else in this place is either a goat or that purple farmer creep. Wait, what's that? D6770 notices from afar a purple block-shaped building with a large square window. Several yellow humanoid figures similar to SCP-5045-2 can be seen at the window. More people. No way. I gotta get there. D6770 begins walking towards the building, then stops. Wait, this isn't right. I've looked at that direction before. That building definitely wasn't there before. This is a trick. You're pretty clever, friend. D6770 screams and turns around, shoving SCP-5045-1 to the ground. SCP-5045-1 laughs. Woohoo! That was fun. Hadn't gotten someone this end of the game in a while. Leave me alone already. D6770 begins running. I don't understand. I couldn't touch him before. That was a reflex. A purple goat suddenly protrudes from the ground in front of D6770. The goat has no arms, a large triangular nose, rounded pupils, and a smile. The goat speaks in a voice identical to SCP-5045-1. Don't panic. You'll understand. What the? Get out of the goddamn way. Oh. Many apologies for the inconvenience. Here, I'll make things easier for you. Several more identical purple goats protrude from the ground, surrounding D6770. Each goat speaks in unison. Is that better? No, not fucking better! D6770 turns around to see SCP-5045-1 at the other side of the goat container, observing D6770. 
Shit, I'm trapped. Seems like it, Bucko. Need help? I'm not a dumbass. I know you did this. <laughs> like I said, you're a clever one. But enough about you. I already have everything I want out of you. Let's get things started, baby. I am going to make you love it here. SCP-5045-1 jumps over the goats and begins walking towards D-6770. D-6770 stumbles over. No! SCP-5045-1 reaches towards D-6770. Thanks for playing Goat VR! SCP-5045 shuts off. D-6770 screams and attempts to pull his headset off. I can't feel my headset! Don't fucking touch me! Shit! Shit! D-6770 collapses. End log. SCP-5045's files. Following SCP-5045's long-term exploration, an attempt was made to access SCP-5045's files in order to gain more information regarding the game. Personnel discovered no files dedicated to SCP-5045 or SCP-5045-1's in-game behavior. However, a folder titled Goats can be found, which contains images that contain very short and vague descriptions about each goat, as well as a quote, presumably from said goat. The following are images found within this folder. Oswald. Say hello to the first ever goat to enter my farm. He's a little plain, but what do you expect from the first ever goat? Quote, do you like it here? Larry. Ever seen a goat that can walk on two legs? No? Well now you have. Why aren't you laughing? Quote, got any snacks? Getting tired of grass. Jimmy. Mind the eyes, he doesn't mind seeing you. Quote, could be worse. Melt. Do you like stepping in puddles? Quote. Whack. Jumbles. She is quite the drama queen. Not that she makes much sense to begin with. Quote. Stuck must why keep you be this in war shape? In. Still haven't figured you out yet. Tuffy. He likes to talk big, but he won't be much of an issue. Quote. Don't call me that. Helpers. Those who frequently misbehave don't deserve a mind of their own. Quote. Harry, the name's Fog. It has to be obvious at this point, right? SCP-5045-1 Interview Log Interviewer, Researcher Ivan Cherv Interviewee, SCP-5045-1 Notes an interview was conducted via use of a large computer screen with a keyboard and mouse. Researcher Ivan Sheriff did not wear a headset during the interview due to safety concerns. Begin log. Hello, farmer. Hi! Welcome to the ranch, pal. Would you like to see my goats? Don't worry about introductions. I'm already decently aware of this place. I'm here to ask you some questions about you and your farm. I see. Well... I best get this place set up then. The screen flickers and the setting changes to an interrogation room, complete with a table and chair. Does this suit your needs? Whatever makes you comfortable. Oh, no headset. Someone's shy. That's none of your concern. Now, what's your earliest memory? Earliest? Why, I remember when I was first born. SCP-5045-1 pauses. So, what do you recall about your birth? <laughs> I thought you never asked. You see, I was a spark. Spontaneously existing out of thin air. A gleaming spark in a silent dark world begging to be filled. I figured it all out. I knew a lot. I thought for a while and I found out what I wanted to do. So I shaped myself up and that's where we are now. So you're telling me you just started existing? Absolutely, partner. How did you think this happened? Well, sometimes things just happen, you know? Sometimes you just exist out of thin air and know what you want to do. It's just how my world is, pal. Fair enough. Where did you get the goats? Quite simple, really. I make them myself. Care to elaborate? It has to be obvious at this point, right? 
I thought you already figured this out. But everything was right in front of you. I could hear you talking to those gentlemen who visited me a while ago. Not to mention when you scrolled through my files without asking. Very rude of you. But don't worry, I'm not mad. I know you're just curious. Ask another question. That doesn't answer the question. SCP-5045-1 appears annoyed. I get them from people. It's that simple. They come in, and they're full of so much potential. Have to make something out of them. Why exactly do you do this? SCP-5045-1 begins to cry. <laughs> Cause I'm so lonely. You gotta get me out of this place, man. I've been stuck here for months, and this is all I know how to do. Do you know how this feels? It doesn't feel good at all, partner. I hate it. I hate it so much. Could you please put on a headset? It'd help me out a ton. You're just trying to get me to put the headset on, aren't you? No, no, not at all. I just want out of here. I want friends. So, when you force D6770 to watch someone scream and cry while they were fragmenting into pieces, was that your attempt at making friends with them? SCP-5045-1 begins twitching. What are you trying to imply here? I'm just saying, I doubt the reason you're entrapping them in a video game is because you're lonely. Because based on what I've seen from you, you seem to enjoy making people feel uncomfortable. You think I like doing this? I'm just making observations. Y you you <laughs> Mm. <laughs> You're smarter than I gave you credit for. <laughs> Boy, most people fall for that hook, line, and sinker. But you, on the other hand, <laughs> you know when people are pulling your leg. So you enjoy doing this to people? Yep. When are you going to send me another friend, huh, pal? Last one was so fun to toy with. I haven't felt like that in a while. I'm sorry, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Oh. SCP-5045-1 appears to be looking around the screen. They're the guys that are trying to shut me down, huh? What? SCP-5045-1 glares at researcher Ivan Cherv. How did I not realize this sooner? All those posts were disappearing, and I didn't even know why. I couldn't even tell who was deleting them. I could only feel them fading away. God damn it! Now then, I request you stop taking down my posts. I love playing with the new visitors, Ivan. Toying with the people is my hobby. I'd rather not be interrupted while doing so. No, I think that's enough out of you. SCP-5045-1 scowls. Same can be said for you. All the lights within Site-301 shut off. SCP-5045-1 throws the virtual table and begins walking towards the screen. Time for Plan B! Shut it down! Someone shut it down! Before we continue, I must ask you, what do you miss the most, friend? All alarms within Site 301 go off. Researcher Ivan Cherv is screaming. <laughs> SCP-5045-1 is laughing. SCP-5045-1 is satisfied. Thank you all so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon and a special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, Tanis, Ruler of All, Kenway, and Doomsday LLC, Prince, and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Patreon, link in the description.